day to you. I'm Scabbard and welcome back to another episode of Scabbard Craft. Uh, today I'm looking at armor and weapons. Now you may remember in the last episode we went strip mining and from the strip mining by now you should probably get yourself some pretty wicked resources. You're gonna have iron, you're gonna have redstone, you're gonna have gold, you're gonna have diamond, you're gonna have whatever you wanted. So today we're gonna look at using those resources for producing some armor some weapons and just generally going about testing to see how effective they are. Now I have taken the liberty of cheating massively, grabbing myself some leather, gold, iron and diamond in order to show you the difference between the armour and weapons. And as you can see at the bottom here I've got a selection of these different swords. Um, you can use other things as well such as axes and well, anything you can hit with can be used to kill something but Generally, you know, just use swords until the 1.9 update comes, and then with 1.9 you can use axes effectively as weapons. Um, so I made it night time. Um, we've got some mobs spawning, so we should have some stuff to kill at least. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to create some armor. So I'll show you the different types of armor you can create. Now, there's there's five different types of armor, but only four materials that can be used to create them. Um, one of them isn't creatable at all and is only a drop. <coughs> now, the, the first crafting material and the one that's actually second easiest to get hold of is leather. Now, the leather is obtained through killing cows and rabbits. Um, but generally, at the beginning, you don't want to be culling all of your animals. So, until you've got a pretty big farm, you're not going to have an awful lot of leather in order to create this armour. Um, you're actually more likely to have the iron armor first, or a selection of mob dropped armor, such as gold and leather and mail. Now, if I just create some of this, so the leather patterns are mostly self expansion, so you've got a nice little upside down cup around the top to, to create a cap. Couple down the side to create some boots. All around the top there with two struts for legs. And for a chest piece, mm. you just leave a gap for the neck, and there you go, self chest piece. So let me don this super armor. I look ridiculous, even with a texture pack, but there we go. Be a nice view of that. Yes, aggressive. So I am currently using a wooden sword and wearing leather armor. So this is what you consider the beginning armament, I suppose. Um, and if you hover over the uh, weapons at the bottom, you can actually see their attack damage. So a wooden sword is plus four attack damage. So it's all right. It's all right. It's not great. Um, and the wooden swords also break pretty quickly. So it's it literally is the beginning. Um, you got golden swords, which if you're crafting golden swords, quite frankly, you're mad. Um, they're no better than wooden swords, and they break pretty quickly as well. Um, kind of similar to the fact that gold armor is also pretty crappy. Um, you've got stone swords. Now this is kind of where you kind of jump from wood to stone as quickly as possible. You get the extra attack damage and they last twice as long. So always worth doing. And then you have the iron sword. Now once you start gathering iron from your strip mine, it's always worth using an iron sword just because it kills things so much quicker and lasts so much longer. <laughs> we don't want to be crafting swords every five seconds. Similarly, the armor is, is much more robust and will protect you so much more than any leather or chainmail or gold will ever protect you. And we have diamond sword, which is obviously the epitome of attack damage. We have seven attack damage. And obviously with diamond stuff, you tend to throw enchants on them because they're worthwhile. So you'll get that attack damage up even further. So, you know, everyone obviously wants to go to diamond swords, but until you get a nice big stack of diamonds, generally not worth <coughs> going there. You know, iron swords are more than enough for most uh, enemies. Whereas diamond, you kind of want to reserve for when you've got your diamond armor on, you're not going to lose it through death very easily. You're not going to fall into lava and die. Okay, so that's, that's your general five attack weapons at the bottom there, and the four materials for making armor. Now if I just show you at the bottom here on my screen, just above the health bar, we have an armor bar. Now this armor bar comes and goes as you take armor off. Yeah, you can't see that very well. I'll take a couple of bits of armor off and the pips go down. So they're the grey pips above my health bar. Now if I put them back on, 
I get some more. Now you see a full set of lever armor only protects me by three and a half pips. That's not an awful lot. But let me take some damage from something without armor. This skeleton would be a good, good guy. Shoot me please. Thank you. So I get a good one and a half blocks of health taken off from a single arrow. Now just let that go back up. And I'll show you. I can't equip plain lever. Now let me show you again with lever armor. Make sure nothing else is going to interfere. Oh, and it is. Straight away. You see, I only took a single and I took one and a half that time. You see. That was only a half. Oh, no. There we go. So we're still taking one and a half damage from the arrows with leather armor. So you can see that the, the reduction is minimal. It's not even knocking off the half. And obviously, it is giving some reduction. But, as a percentage, it probably isn't enough to take away an arrow. Not an entire arrow. So, we can see that lever armor generally, as well as being more expensive than iron armor in my mind, we just don't have lever to throw around. We, we need lever for other things. It's just not worth it for the protection. So, let me craft myself some gold armor. Now, gold armor is crafted in the exact same way that lever armor is crafted. So, just chuckle that one. Now, if I equip this beautiful lever armor, take this off first, ignore the arrows sticking out of my arms, and we'll just throw on some, lever, uh, some gold armor. Now, you will see that gold armor does look spangly, especially with texture pack. We look like we're ready to take on the world, but quite frankly, it's just not the case. You can see a little bit of durability damage on my lever armor there. It's not, it's not great. Okay, it's, it's, it's mid it's crap. Don't don't make lever armor, it's rubbish. Okay, so let me just set the time back to night because we don't want all of our mobs to disappear, do we? Now, as well as upgrading to gold armor, I'm going to upgrade to a gold sword. You can see that you know it takes an awful long time to kill anything with a with a stone or wooden sword anyway, we know this. So, shoot me. Do your job. Half a block. Whoa there, you missed. Another half block. Okay, so... It's not a massively extensive test. Come on, take another pot shot. One block. So we're taking less damage on the gold armor. We know that, yeah. Between half a block and a full block. Depending on when your food ticks over. Because obviously as your food ticks up, it's replenishing health, so if you take one and a half blocks and then a block fully regenerates straight away, it's going to look like you're taking half. But really, you're taking sort of a whole block there or half a block. So the gold armor is probably doing about twice as much protection, and it's only really gone up by, I think, a block and a half of, of armor value. So it's, it's, there's quite a lot of difference in these, these little armor blocks at the bottom down here. So the gold armor, you know, again, it's not overly durable, but it's it's good. It's better than leather armor for protection. But like I say, it's, it's not very durable. It, it will die quickly. It's not always worth using. And who's going to spend that sort of money on some mostly crappy armor? Yeah. You're going to want to use gold on armor. Let's be honest. But if you pick it up off of a off a skeleton or a zombie that's wearing it, and then chuck that stuff on, it's, it's pretty good. Okay, now onto iron armor. Now, iron armor, in my mind, is my first stop for armor. So, it's pretty good. It's all right. We're um, we've noticed at the bottom there that the armor value itself has shot up, and you're not going to feel overly threatened by things in iron armor. It's durable and it does protect you pretty well. So we'll pop outside. We'll take a pot shot or two from. Mr. Skelly. Oop, there's another one. Yeah, see that was half. It was half again. So that's nothing. Half. Nothing. Yeah, so you see, and I'm using an iron sword here, things are going down pretty quickly. So when you're coupling iron swords of iron armor, you're going to feel pretty well protected. There's not a lot of threat when you've got this sort of gear. 
No. I'm not even bothered. So, feel free, feel free, I've got my time. Let me just cruise around. Yeah, I only hit him once. But I think he was far damaged from the sunlight a little bit. It's three hits on a zombie. I'm not I'm not at all worried about getting injured in iron armor. The only thing you, you truly need to look out for in iron is, is a creeper is still going to blast away some of your health, and I'll show you that. Hey, creepy. Come on. Let's put you in a place where it's, it's not going to ruin my landscape. I can fill you in here. Okay, don't kill me. Oh, there we go. See the damage on that? Okay, so I'm right there, down to four blocks now. So even in iron armor, a creeper will still mangle you if you give it half a chance. And if you're taking damage from other sources, it's a good chance that a creeper is going to kill you outright. So, you know, you still got to be pretty careful. As well as that, an enderman is going to is going to rip through your iron armor pretty quickly. So, uh, you're taking three or four hits from an enderman, you're going to be dead still. <clears throat> they are tricky foes. So let me just get back up to full health and construct some diamond armor. Now, <laughs> you look like a pincushion. Let's, let's chuck some diamond armor on and I'll show you what real armor is all about. Because diamond armor is fantastic. What am I missing? What am I missing? Legs. There we go. Right, so let me take off. Iron armor, jug on some diamond now, I look like an absolute king. Yes, look at that. Absolute mm. king. So, <clears throat> I'm gonna shift into my diamond sword, and I'm with me diamond armor, mm. and I look mm. like a blooming badass. But also, if you look at the bottom there, my armor value is right up there, it's full. Mm. So, I'm not overly worried about taking damage now, even a creeper isn't gonna. Isn't gonna Bat me silly, is it? Look, he had to hit me twice to get half down. Yeah, sure, he's kicking my butt because I'm letting him. If I block, next to nothing. Three hits. Boom. And now gone. It's diamond armor. If you get mobbed, no armor is gonna is gonna protect you forever. But you've got so much chance to do something about it. I mean, let's be honest, zombies aren't particular threat anyway, unless you get like five or six from all charging on you. Now what I really want to do is I want to get a skeleton and I want to get a creeper. No. <laughs> my luck I'm not going to be able to find anything. But if I get a skeleton and a creeper I can show you the, the comparison in damage. Oh, it's a spitter. Hello spitter. Yeah, you're not doing any damage. You want to try harder. That's better. Gamma. Right, let's just wait through these guys. I really want to get that skeleton and creeper shot in before any sun ruins today. So you see, I'm, I'm still good. Well, I might need to pop back and get some food quickly because I don't want to. Oh, there's some creeps over there. I don't want it to um, start losing health too quickly and not be able to push it back up again. I want to be able to show you guys exactly how this works. And I do have a carrot, so I'm going to chuck that in here because actually. Carrots good. Need them. We got one carrot planted. So let me chuck this on. Hey, Mr. Zombie. Bam. So let's see what this creeper does. Okay, so from full health, I went down to four health. Four health pips in iron. Zombie, you're gonna get blown up. And in this one, I only lost three blocks. So that's a profit of two whole blocks of health compared to iron armor and you know that's that's marginal marginal damage from a creeper <sighs> i've got to fill that in so let's try it with mr skeleton let's just wait for my health to go up no you're supposed to be letting my health go up hang on hang on spider you're ruining my right okay so here we go missed there we go nothing half half Okay, so now we're going down to like half a block. I mean, everything's going to do you damage regardless of what armor you're wearing. I can't get close, there's too many. <laughs> this is the trouble with skeletons, is you can't get close to them. When, when they've got pushback from their weapons like this, you just, 
you cannot get close. So every mob in the game is still a threat. Doesn't matter what armor and weapons you're using, it's still going to get threatened by these guys because they just. Right, let's make sure he's hitting him. There we go. It's a good little tactic. If you if you're getting absolutely battered by skeletons, just try and put something between you. Another mob is a really good idea because they will hit each other and they'll attack each other as well. So let's do that creeper experiment again, just so we know we won't. So we know we weren't cheating, there we go. Three blocks. Now obviously with any army you need to check your durability, so I've taken a couple of creeper hits and I actually haven't lost an awful lot. Diamond is really durable and you can improve that with enchantments as well. So, you know, if, if you get a chance, get into diamond armor as quickly as you can, but don't use it if you're if you're going to run around the nether or something like that and you're, you're afraid that you're going to fall into lava straight away it's not worth risking the loss of diamonds and you know there's not a massive difference in damage between an iron sword and a diamond sword but it's it's enough on most animals to at least reduce it by a hit or two so if I show you, here's a wooden sword, one hit, two hits, three hits, four hits on a skeleton. It's not too bad. Now you'll see I'm, I'm going through food really quickly here because as my health drops down, my food bar is used to replenish my health. So I need to keep eating food to replenish my food bar to replenish my health bar. So it, it can it can really affect your your food if you're just out fighting all the time. Oh, God, right, let's go, Mr. Enderman. Hello, Mr. Enderman. If you look at an ender, whoa, here we go. He will attack you. And if you're wearing diamond armor, even in diamond armor, he still hurts. So he got me down three blocks. And the way that he moves around makes him really difficult to fight as well. Now, you can actually prevent Enderman from attacking you by wearing a pumpkin on your head. And you can just plug a pumpkin on whatever you want. So, that will reduce your visibility, but it will stop him from attacking you. It doesn't provide any protection. Though. So, chuck a pumpkin on and Enderman won't, won't rip into you like that. He can be really, really nasty. So, you've got to be really careful. Right. Now. There's a lot of creeps out there now. So let me grab a little more food. So I'm gonna need that. Just get my saturation level up. Okay, so it was with a wooden sword it was four hits for a skeleton. Now gotta find a skeleton. Let's try a creeper first. So one, two, Three, four, and let's do spider as well. So it's four for a skeleton, four for a creeper. One, two, three, four for spiders. So they all have pretty much the same health. Now, if we can compare that with the diamond sword, you can see the sort of difference that a sword makes depending on your materials used. So here's Mr. Creeper, one. Come Mr. Creeper, two, three. So it's, it's one hit less for a Creeper. And if we can find a skeleton, and Mr. Zombie, one, two, three, four, five for that one. He was nasty. And let's have a look with Diamond. One, two, three. So you see, that's, that's quite a difference. And I think I managed a potato. Wow. I don't want to die then. I want to keep that potato. So it was four hits for a skeleton as well. Just run at him. One, two, three. So you see, it may not seem like a lot, but two hits on a zombie and one hit on every other mob, that's quite a lot if you're in a big fight or if you're going for a mine. Not to mention that on 
really hard creatures like Enderman and going up to like Wither Skeletons, Blazes and so forth, Magma Cubes, that the reduction in hits is going to increase because of the amount of health that they have. So you, you might end up hitting things five times less. <clears throat> five hits less. Well, five times less, that'd be crazy. Five hits less um, as they get more more stronger. So, you know, it's, it's worth it. You know, you can move up to iron as quickly as possible. Personally, I would skip leather, and only equip gold if you get it for free. Don't don't spend leather and and gold on that armor if you're using it specifically for protection. It's not worth it. Um, the only good thing about leather armor is that you can dye it, so you actually you end up with some really good looking armors. You can make it gold, black, red, whatever whatever dye color you can make. Not yellow, I suppose. Whatever dye color you can make, you can. You can dye your armor with it and that's really worth doing I think um, make it make it look really cool especially if you're making videos so that's that's certainly worthwhile now I'm not going to use any of this stuff because I cheated I didn't even have it and that's that's not cool so I'm gonna get rid of it so I'm gonna put it in a hole in the ground give me a spade I don't want any of this stuff. It's like blood money. Just gotta get rid of it. I don't want you anymore. That was my spade! Um, you know, I didn't know any of this stuff. I don't want it. That's not what survival's all about. So I'm gonna get rid of it. Bye diamonds. Bye iron. I'm keeping the potato though. <laughs> I am keeping the potato because potato and they're so hard to come by I'm just gonna keep it bye bye stuff I'm not going back in there they'll be gone in five minutes so there you go there you have it and we've got a potato so happy so that's it for now so it, I hope that helped <coughs> Ooh, it's a bit of free. so I'm sure that you found with a bit of sleepy I'm sure that you found that armor and weapons, they don't make massive amounts of difference at this sort of level. Uh, generally, you can wear armor um, of any type just running around in the fields and so forth. And to be honest, leather's not really worth it, but anything above that, gold, iron, diamond, or any chainmail that you pick up off of mobs that drop it, um, it's worth wearing as long as you can afford to lose it. And any sword upgrade is worthwhile as well, but just don't carry around diamond armor and diamond sword if you if you don't have the resources to replace it easily, because um, it doesn't make a, a big enough difference out in the, the normal world, on, on normal ground in the overworld. But when you start hitting um, the nether, or if you want to start going up into dungeons, like deep dungeons, and into the end, you're going to need it. So it's, it's worth going for it. Make sure that you, you pick it up when you can. and um, stay safe so thanks very much for watching hit like and subscribe and if this is the first video that you watched then please come back and watch my other videos and um, the likes and subscribes really help thanks a lot carry on minecrafting bye bye